Hi, I'm Matt Buteri from Buteri's Restaurant and Bar in Richmond Nelson. Today I'm going to do a dish for you consisting of smoked eel and coriander salad, with cherry tomato confit, with saffian's verju, and I'm going to top it off with a baby crust salad. So first of all, I've just got some beautiful cherry tomatoes here. Just going to put a nice sprinkle of good Marlborough sea salt on top. A quarter of a cup of verju. Then I'm going to put in a quarter of a cup of olive oil. And two tablespoons of saffians. And this is great. This is so much better than using threads. It's quicker and I know exactly the colour that I'm going to get. I've got two cloves of garlic. Peel the skins off. And then I'll slit them in half. Take out the core. And this is the bitter part. We don't want that in the dish. So I've got my oven turned on at 100 degrees, 120 degrees. I'm going to put the tomatoes in there for about 45 minutes until they split open. And then I'm going to put a nice sprig of basil in there. So I'll just give that a good mix in. And you can see there by adding it, you can see the colour on the spoon. And so when the tomatoes, the oil and the verju cook through, then you just have such a beautiful sauce. And then I'll put that in the oven. So here I've got some smoked eel sides. So just make sure when you're using eel, that you just scrape off any skin that's on there, but it's got some back fat on it, which is the natural jelly from when they smoke it. You want to keep that on there because that actually is flavour. If there's any dry skin, just cut it off. Like so. And then just run your hands down it to make sure that there's no pin bones in there. And the quickest way to break it up is to get a fork and just pull it through like that. So I've got about 400 grams of um, smoked eel. So next to my salad I've got some mayonnaise here, which I made earlier. Just enough to bind it. I'll just give that a gentle mix just to make sure I've got enough in there. So next what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little bit of Granny Smith apple in there. I'm just going to slice it nice and thin. So the Granny Smith apple is to add a bit of tart and a bit of crisp to the salad. So I'll put a nice bit of apple in there. So next I'm just going to chop in some avocado. Just peel that skin off nice and gently. It's <clears throat> a nice firm avocado and, and the, a good way to tell if an avocado is ripe is if you actually press the ends, top and tail. Don't squeeze from the side because it's a false indication. You press the top and the tail, if it's nice and soft and spongy, you know that your avocado is ripe. So just add that to the salad. So I've got some tomatoes here that have been blanched and peeled. Just going to do a little bit of tomato concasse. Just cut the tomato in half and cut it into thirds. Take out the centre, turn it upside down. Same thing again, drop it into julienne. Always make sure you've got a sharp knife, especially when you're doing tomatoes or anything for that matter, but tomatoes as well, because if you've got a blunt knife, you just crush the tomatoes. You don't want to crush them, you want to keep them in nice pieces. Some coriander. Let's take the stalks out. Some parsley. So 80% of our produce that comes from the restaurant is, is either grown, um, is grown locally and is actually picked by the boys in the kitchen, picked by my team. And it's a, it's a great way of uh, cooking because it's, you actually are using everything that's in season. Hence why we've taken, started to use the saffians because it's a local product. And by local I mean it's in the Tasman region. It comes from Blenheim and it's such a, such a good versatile product. Um, you'll see in one of my later dishes, in the earlier dishes, it can be used in hot cold. And a dish that we'll be doing soon, we'll be using it for a dessert. So it's a, it's a great, 
it's a great thing to have in the kitchen, in the work kitchen and the domestic kitchen. So there we have it. So now we'll just mix that in nice and gently so we don't crush everything up. So my tomatoes have been in the oven now for 45 minutes so they should be perfect. So they're beautiful. They've just started to split. Got a lovely aroma to it. And you can see the oil, the saffience, the colour, it's just beautiful. So just give it that a nice gentle mix. Lovely. So now I'm just going to plate it. So I've got two metal rings here. So I'll just spoon that on there. So now I'm just going to put my comfy of cherry tomatoes around the outside. And you can just see the surfeits coming through the oil on the plate, dressing around the outside just like that. the colours and they're beautiful. So again you can put as much of this as you like because it almost turns into a soup and when you're eating this with the salad it'll just be mind-blowing. Just garnish that. Some micro herbs. Voila. So there you have it, smoked eel salad with coriander and a comfy of tomato, verjus and sapiens dressing with baby crest.